Hey what's up gangsters welcome to the 19th selenium web driver tutorial again my name is Apilash and in this tutorial we will be working with selenium web driver in order to log in to our uh, login page that is uh, as you can see we have a link called as login over here which will redirect to redirect to a page that is login.html so basically what we are going to do in this tutorial is uh, we are going to enter the username and password and click on login and verify the text that is uh, displayed over here as we have seen in the previous tutorials so basically let's get started with the selenium web driver and again in this uh, tutorial we will be creating a new class so it's uh, kind of a revision for you guys so let's quickly create a new class under the package so right click new class so let's name it as a class 2 so as I have explained earlier it's a best practice or you can say it's a, it's a good practice in order to start the name of a Java program using a uppercase letter so basically we need to check the public static void main method so it will create that method for you automatically okay so the very first step is uh, we are supposed to set the property so let's just copy paste this uh, code since I'm lazy I don't want to type much in this tutorial so I hope you guys understand the code that I am trying to execute so basically the property that is uh, system.set property I have set the property uh, to the gecko driver and I have set the path of the gecko driver.exe to the required uh, local directory and I have also initialized the driver that is the Firefox driver since we will be working with uh, Mozilla in this case that is Mozilla Firefox now the next thing that uh, we are going to do is uh, we are going to open the URL so we have driver dot get so if you guys remember we have a get method which uh, takes the string as the input parameter so basically uh, it's the home page that we are going to open so basically that's the way it will open the URL and the next thing is we are supposed to click on the link so let's open firebug once again inspect the element so since we have the ID of this particular link that is uh, it's a hyperlink so we'll just quickly copy this and let's do driver dot find element so we are supposed to find the element use the by class and we have a number of locating methods in this case so we are going to make use of this id method and pass the required id and then since the action is uh, clicking on the hyperlink we have uh, a method called as click so basically we are going to click the hyperlink so it will redirect you to the login page so once you have come in the login page you are supposed to find the locating method that is you can make use of this id so basically you are supposed to find something that will locate the input method that you will be working with in your java program so basically we have the id equals username so let's just quickly copy it and find it so by dot again we are going to make use of id locating method and paste the id and since we are going to send some data to, to this uh, input text box we are going to make use of send keys equals username okay and again we know the id of the password so let's just quickly confirm it yeah the id that is id equals password is uh, the id of the password uh, input text box so basically we can quickly copy it in this id and send 
the password since uh, username and password is the combination of username and password and the last thing that we are going to do is login button so again we have something called as login in this case so id equals login and dot click so as you can see in this uh, java program we have uh, the two statements that are same but uh, in this case it was the home page that we are working with so basically the id on the home page will be found in this case and then once we click on that hyperlink we are on the next page so basically uh, whatever IDs that we are going to find on the next page will work accordingly so basically that's the way we can uh, quickly create the selenium web driver script and uh, let's quickly execute it and see how uh, it gets executed and uh, it will log into our uh, login page so basically i have executed so the execution have started on the mozilla firefox browser so as you can see uh, the uh, selenium web driver program has uh, was redirected to the login page and it has typed the username and password and clicked on login and since the combination of both the username and password are uh, correct we have uh, seen that the logged in uh, text is uh, displayed so this is the way we can uh, make use of uh, selenium web driver in order to log into any other site that uh, you frequently use so basically uh, we can uh, perform different uh, selenium web driver you can say the automation task using the selenium web driver so in the next tutorial we will be looking into how we can uh, verify the text that is displayed after clicking on login so that's it in this tutorial catch you guys in the next tutorial peace